Hi again guys, welcome to part 3 of this 3 part series on making your own Bitcoin or Litecoin uh, cryptocurrency mining pool. In this third part of the series we're going to go through uh, setting up the web front end, uh, getting the Stratum server running and uh, ultimately we're going to test the pool and make sure everything's working. It's a quite a long video so let's get straight into it. First thing we need to do is navigate into the web root of our Ubuntu installation and we do that with cd space slash var slash www slash html. Then what we need to do is we need to do a sudo git clone git semicolon slash slash git hub dot com slash mpos slash php dash mpos dot git and mpos. Enter your password and I already have it. So then what we do is we do a cd space mpos and we do sudo git checkout master. And you can see again, I've already done that. So now what we need to do, staying in this directory, we need to create ourselves a MySQL database, uh, which we're going to use to store all the shares and uh, short sure our usernames and passwords for our, uh, registered users. So we do a sudo MySQL, tac p, tac e, create database, guncoin, and this is your SQL password. And again, I already have the database installed. Now what we need to do is import the structure. So we do that with a sudo mysql tac p guncoin less than sql over 000 underscore base underscore structure dot sql. And that's, that's it. Press enter. I'm not going to do that because I already have mine configured. So now what we need to do is we need to give ourselves appropriate uh, permissions so that the, uh, this can run on the web front end. So what we need to do is a sudo ch own tac capital R www dash data space public slash templates slash compile space public slash templates slash cache space logs. Now what we need to do is we need to turn the uh, sample configuration file into an activated configuration file and the way we do that is with a sudo cp for copy public slash include slash config slash global dot inc dot dist dot php space public slash include slash config slash global dot inc dot php now we need to edit that now newly activated configuration file and the way we do that is with sudo public slash include slash config slash global pardon me <coughs> global dot inc dot php so that should be sudo nano okay and here you go so this is the basic configuration file for our MPOS installation. Now what we should do here is work our way through. This is the salt and salty for the password, so let's just put anything random in here, it doesn't matter what you use. We know this is script for our coin, leave this all the same. Now we need to enter our database configuration, leave the, the host as local host, the user is root, the password is password leave the port 3306 and the server name is guncoin. Now we need to configure our local RPC wallet and we know that that was on localhost 10456 which was our RPC port. Our RPC username which we configured during the uh, installation of the wallet is guncoin server and then the, the RPC password is guncoin server 123. Leave this all the same. Now this is the information that's going to be displayed in the pages getting started. So uh, usually you'd put the domain name that you've registered if you want to activate this as an external website, but because we're going to be running this on our local network, we open up a new terminal and you can see here that my, my local address is uh, 192.168.1.8. So I'm going to enter that in. And this is the port that we entered as our worker port when we configured our stratum server. So we're going to leave this the same. With the ticker API, because this coin obviously doesn't get converted directly to USD, what we do is we delete that and that'll uh, disable that function for us. This is the automatic payout. You obviously set this based on the value of the coin that you're mining. 
manual payout threshold, the donation threshold, I can leave them all the same, that's fine. This is the currency, the shorthand that the website will use, and that's called gun. Then you enter the target value of the coin. It doesn't really matter what you write in here, uh, uh, and it's just based on whatever those you find in the announced folder. I'll call it 150. Gun coin uses a dark gravity wave, so it's a, it changes difficulty once every block. So you just put in one there, otherwise you just put in the, the uh, when the difficulty changes. This is the transaction fees which will be applied to both the automatic payouts and the manual payouts. And often you find that websites that advertise this uh, free fee have higher transaction fees. Uh, and this is a way to boost boost uh, profits. Leave the payout system the same. This will be a prop payout pool. Leave all this the same. Leave all this the same. Leave all this the same. Here's where you put your pool fee. We'll put a standard 1% pool fee. So we'll take 1% of everything that everyone mines. Standard difficulty will be the starting difficulty will be 1. It'll readjust itself as we go along. The block reward is how, how much uh, each block is worth. Uh, so again, we'll make it you know, 150 or something like that. Leave the confirmations as 120 unless you know what you're doing. Leave all this the same. Leave all this the same. Leave all this the same. Press Control X. Press Yes and enter. You now have a successfully configured web front end. There's one last thing we need to do and that is we need to navigate back to our root directory and we need to uh, edit the following file. And uh, again, I've already done. I've already done it. So uh, we need to navigate over to the following directory. So it's we do a sudo nano slash user slash local slash lib slash python 2.7 slash dist packages slash stratum. Uh, 2.13.py whatever slash stratum slash websocket dot pi and I've already done it here but usually this will look like this autobahn dot websocket and we just need to change it to autobahn dot twisted dot websocket now we do a control x press y to save and enter and now we're ready to run our pool. So let's close this. So what we need to do now is navigate over to the local host. So I'm going to open a web browser. I'm going to navigate over to 192.168.1.8 slash mpos slash public. And here we have our website. It doesn't look like much because we haven't really added much to it. Uh, I'm not going to go through this the, the simple administration tasks, but what we need to do now is uh, sign up, and you create an, a username and a password and with an email address, and it says it's going to send you an email address, but the first user uh, doesn't actually receive an email. So uh, the first user to, to create an account will be the si system administrator. So what we can do is log in here, and uh, I used this as my pa and my password was password. Okay, so we're now uh, successfully logged in as the administrator uh, to the mining pool. Here you can see there's an administration panel along the side where you can change some settings, put in messages of the day. Uh, most importantly, I recommend uh, turning off uh, email notifications just because they make things really difficult. Uh, you can put a you can put news in the front end in the front here, and often people put the picture from the announcement thread here just to make everything like nice and pretty. Uh, but let's get down to the crux of it and uh, get a worker going. So the way to do that is we go to my account, edit my workers, and you can see I've already created a worker here, admin.1 with a worker password of X. Obviously before we test everything, uh, we're going to need to make sure our strata mining server is uh, fully operational. So we open a new tab, a new uh, terminal, sorry. We navigate over to stratum tac mining. And what we're going to do is do a twisted tack ny space launcher dot tack and now we have a, a, a running successfully configured strata mining server uh, what we should do now that, that so this is running uh, in sort of a verbose output kind of mode but we if we run it like that we're going to need to leave this window open on our server to keep everything running so to make it run in the background we can stop that with control C we just run the same thing again but we just get rid of the end 
and now it'll run in the background. So now that's successfully running. So let's make let's get everything working. So we go over to uh, the help section and we see the getting started guide. And here it tells us this is what we're going to need to do to get our CG miner working. So I'm going to navigate back over to my Windows computer where I have CG miner installed. And I'm going to copy that over. Okay, it doesn't want to work. So we'll do CG miner tac tac script tac o is stratum oops tac o is stratum plus tcp semicolon slash slash and I know it's 192.168.1.8 and we're on port 3333 my username is admin.1 and my password is x put the extra stuff in to make everything run nice and smoothly and there you have it you can see now that strata mining is working uh, as expected and shares are being committed as you can see here so let's navigate back over to the web front end and go to my account and see our dashboard and here you can see uh, it's successfully counting my hash rate the hash rate's uh, significantly lower at the moment than it should be just because it, uh, it'll do that while the difficulty adjusts and there'll be lots of rejected shares until that difficulty adjusts so now you have a successfully configured uh, Bitcoin mining pool. There's only one last thing you need to do, and that's configure the cron jobs. And the cron jobs run in the background, and they uh, organize payouts and uh, clean up the databases and all that kind of stuff. And fortunately, they're really easy to configure. So we need to go back over to our web front end directory. So we just see this space bar slash www slash html slash mpos. And there's a directory called cron jobs. So let's navigate over to cron jobs. And there's a whole heap of uh, different jobs here as saved as uh, shell scripts, but luckily they've been bundled into a, a single uh, script that we can run. And what we want to do is run that every five minutes on a continuous loop without any further input. And the way we're going to do that is we do a screen watch tac n 300, so 300 seconds, meaning five minutes, dot slash run dash crons dot sh. And there you have it. Now that's going to every five minutes run that script. So we can close that now. And you now have a successfully working Bitcoin mining pool. Um, I'll do another video later on on configuring the uh, uh, email server, which you don't really need um, uh, unless you're going to have a heap of users. Uh, but I, and I don't think that's really that important at the moment. So. Uh, Again, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and found this educational. Uh, as always, please uh, rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you.